Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a very short story to tell you from my childhood and a lesson that my father taught me when I was about 13 years old. In the summertime he used to take my siblings and me, whichever of those had arrived by then, out on the Chesapeake in a motorboat and uh, the the mission of the day would be fishing, right? Right? And so it was a pretty serious endeavor. <laughs> and uh, so first we would learn how to navigate because if you go in the wrong place in the Chesapeake Bay, you run up onto the shallows and foul up your, your propeller or else you are in danger of being run down by the speedboats that go up and down the channel. So you have to learn about the boys and what they mean about the channels that you can go in and which side you need to be on uh, to avoid other traffic, other water traffic. So that was the first lesson. <clears throat> and we got to a place that looked likely for fishing, right? And so the Chesapeake is a little choppy, and so the boat would be rocking back and forth like that. And then when we were cast into the ocean with our fishing lines, there would be a mo movement of the boat that would, that would push the boat in a direction that frightened me because it seemed almost like we would capsize, especially when my dad did it. He was heavier than, than I and, uh, because he was grown. And so he would do that, and the boat would shift sideways, and plus there'd be the waves. And it, if there was another boat coming along, usually they went pretty fast, and so they would create a kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, it's that wave front that goes along with them and is much larger than the normal waves of, uh, of a quiet bay. So I had all these things to contend with because I was basically a land lover. <laughs> <laughs> and I was about 13 years old, right? And even in those days, I always wore glasses, um, reading glasses especially, and I carried them with me all the time because I was an avid reader, right? So I had my glasses, but I didn't need them at the moment when I was fishing. I had my hands full to try and figure out what to do, and plus I was holding on to the edge of the boat. <laughs> so... I sat down on my on my reading glasses and I broke them in the middle. And so it was the first time I had ever done anything destructive to, to my reading glasses, ever. And my father found out and he was grimly angry about it because in those days we didn't have the money to put out for another pair of glasses. So uh, I got an explanation about how even if we're in fear of death because of the rolling of the boat and the commotion of, of the predator-prey relationship that was going on with regard to the fishing and the other boats going by and so forth. No matter what circumstance we find ourselves in, we need to exercise um, neutral mind. We need to know where we are and we need to avoid actions that will cost us in the future. In this case it had to do with replacing the glasses. So um, I thought about that today and I, and I thought about my father's life before he had a family and I thought about how he was a member of the Seabees and he was, um, he was in charge of one of the, the barges, you know, that ferried the equipment and the people into the beach of Normandy on D-Day. And uh, when all was said and done, for his entire platoon, no one survived but he. And I think that the reason for that was that he was very cool under fire and under life-threatening circumstances, he kept his head and his neutral mind and preserved what he could, you know, whether it was hopefully the lives of his crew, because I, I know that cost him all his life, the thought that everyone had passed on but he. Or whether it's just your own life, if that's all that you can do. And that was the same lesson he was trying to teach me 
when I sat on my reading glasses in the Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> so there you have it, I thought for the day. My thought about my father, who was so courageous under fire and who bore with him all his life the sadness of so many deaths on that day.